On this week's Political Figure episode, we've got the man who will hopefully sack Raphael Tedder Cruz and deport him back to whatever alien planet banished him here in the first place. Colin Allred, who is blue. Ish. Colin Zachary Allred was born April 15th, 1983 in Dallas, Texas. Which makes him a millennial, and that means if he gets elected, Capitol Hill will be slightly less of a fucking nursing home. He graduated from Hillcrest High School in Dallas and was a star athlete playing pretty much all the sports balls they had to offer. He then went and got a bachelor's in history on a football scholarship at Baylor, and after graduating in 2005, he was drafted to the Tennessee Titans. His NFL career lasted four seasons with the Tennessee Titans, and then, you know, like most professional athletes after their professional career, career is done, he went back to school, to, to Berkeley, and got his Juris Doctor. Then he worked as counsel as a special assistant in the Obama administration's Department of Housing and Urban Development, and also worked as a voting rights litigator and as counsel for political advocacy organizations. So his career path thus far has gone linebacker to liberty lawyer. In 2018, he decided to run for Texas's 32nd district in the U.S. House of Representatives, and unseated incumbent Pete Sessions, who had represented some form of that district since 1997, becoming the first Democrat to represent that area or much of the areas that that district now encompasses since 1968. You know, when that party switch that didn't happen happened. And for everybody who's going to comment on this video and tell me that the party switch never happened, feel free to do so and boost my engagement. I appreciate that. But I will not be doing any comment responses, making more content on the subject, because I've already done so a painstaking number of times. So once you're done leaving your embarrassing comment, you can see yourself to the search bar and type in off to wagon party switch. And you can fulfill your humiliation kink in private with the knowledge that despite not having your own video dedicated to your ignorance, we are all still judging you. Now in his legislative career, Allred has just been painfully fucking moderate. If there's any moderate centerline issue, that's where his policy and voting habits live. But that strategy seems to have kept him winning elections every two years since 2018. That said, he is stepping out of his safe house seat uh, and running for his party's nomination to run for Texas Senate against Ted Cruz. Now, it's early yet, and there is obviously a chance he could still lose the party nomination, but he is the overwhelming favorite to win and has been a fundraising juggernaut. He announced his intention to run in May, and by July, he had raised six $6.2 million, compared to Ted Cruz's $4 million, which is even more impressive because Rafi is an incumbent, but Allred is competing for fundraising dollars with other primary challengers. And Cancun Cruz's single-digit lead in the polls over Allred should be enough to make him a little uncomfortable. And if absolutely nothing else, we all feel better when Ted Cruz is uncomfortable. All that being said, we obviously need to meet our expectations. A Democrat hasn't won a statewide office in Texas since 1990. And despite the fact that everybody hates Ted Cruz, including Ted Ted Cruz, he has managed to ward off more than one challenger who has gained national attention and raked in fundraising dollars like the Monopoly Man usually far outperforming polling expectations. But I do think that there is reasons to be cautiously optimistic that we could be rid of Raphael in 2024. And the first reason is that I would never vote for Colin Allred because he is so painstakingly, boringly moderate. You know, I need some more progressive policies from my candidates, but I, thank fucking God, am not from Texas. And Texans, despite their tough bravado, are terrified of everything. You know, immigrants, the gays, trans people, books, women who can read books, Books, slightly below room temperature weather, vegetables, solar panels, anybody wearing something on their head that doesn't have a brim or a bill, any teachings that aren't biblical, but also all the teachings of the Bible. You get the point. And this is why Colin Allred in Texas being painfully, boringly moderate is probably going to help him out. And then Allred, who is presenting himself as a Texas politician, a man from Dallas, from Texas, who has worked to serve Texas, who lives in Texas, who is not a federal politician, he's a politician for Texas. Texas. And again, this is good because Texans are scared of everything, including outsiders. So unlike Teddy Cruz's last challenger, Beto O'Rourke, who despite being from El Paso, very much wanted to be a national politician, really gave the impression of being an outsider who wasn't overly concerned with Texas and more concerned with national politics. Also, Beto said a lot of dumb shit for attention, like, hell yes, I'm coming for your AR-15. And just blatant gun grabbing rhetoric always goes over real well in the Lone Star State. I mean, they make the guns their entire personality because they're scared of everything, and you can't threaten to take away somebody's personality. Uh, that's scary. Just a bad, bad campaign strategy that Democrats need to pay attention to a little bit more. But it's that outsider aspect that I think Allred can really latch on to if he runs a good campaign. Because Ted Cruz's real name is Raphael, and he's from fucking Canada. He fucked off to Mexico, and the lights went out, and the heat stopped working, and he pulls a lot of 
embarrassingly idiotic stunts in Washington because he needs attention for himself, uh, but doesn't seem to give a fuck a whole lot about what's going on in actual Texas. So I really feel like all Colin needs to do is just be like, hi, I'm Colin Allred, I'm running for Senate, and I am not Ted Cruz. Well, Colin, where do you stand on the issues? What's your platform? Well, I'm glad you asked. My platform is not being Ted Cruz. Okay, okay, and if you get elected, Colin, what are you gonna do for the people of Texas? I give you my word that if I'm elected as your senator, I will serve the people of Texas diligently by not being Ted Cruz. Because really all anybody wants in this life is to not have to acknowledge that Ted Cruz exists. Even Ted Cruz. So as long as the person challenging Ted Cruz doesn't say anything too scary to Texans like, ooh, the future is coming, they probably stand a pretty good chance. Also, Texans really like football. Next to white Republican Jesus and just being Texan for some reason, football's like their favorite thing in the whole universe. So while not generally a great qualification for a political candidate, in Texas it's not gonna hurt anything. Might even make it so Texans give them a pass for all the extra melanin. So I'm making this video to tell you I'm pretty indifferent about Colin Allred, but what I and, and the rest of the world really cares about Texas is that we're no longer subjected to that alien in a flabby skin suit you keep sending to Washington. You know, it, it makes us uncomfortable we're not sure what it eats, but it's probably children. So if you could replace it with, you know, anything, we'd be, we'd be just super appreciative. You know, Colin would be fine. We'd have no objections. Wilson from Castaway, you know, I don't know what he's been up to lately, but maybe he's looking for a new career move. You could, you could check into that. Or I know Forky from Toy Story. It'd be an easy transition for you guys because like Ted Cruz, he's trash. All I'm saying is there's options, but it's most likely going to be Colin Allred. So vote for that guy.